Assalamualaikum, selamat sejahtera, hello everyone. In this short video, I would like to show how to compress your video so that you can reduce your uh, the file size of your video to a smallest uh, size. And um, this is the utility which you can use. This is actually a free uh, web-based utility. Uh, you don't have to download any application. This is called ClipChamp Utilities. That's the address. And you can just simply Google ClipChamp Utilities and you will find the link to this page, this website. So there are two things you can see on the left-hand side here. You can just uh, simply drag and drop your video in this uh, box here and you can start to change the setting and then uh, start the compression. Or you can also make a fresh recording using using your webcam here. But uh, in this video, I just want to show you how to convert your video. So I have my video here. The size of this video is 63.9, about 64 megabyte. So all I need to do is to just drag and drop my video there. And then it's very important uh, the setting you can see this is a video. I can do some uh, simple editing here if uh, I want to. Video. Then I can uh, do, do uh, trimming, I can rotate, or I can flip the video. But uh, I would not um, advise you to do the editing here. Uh, but if necessary, you can you can use uh, a simple editing feature here. Okay, so the, the, the important part is here. I want to optimize for, so you can click. There's an option, uh, you can optimize for web, for Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo. You can optimize for Windows, mobile, and animation. So in this case, choose mobile because uh, I assume that you want to compress the video. Maybe you can share the video, uh, especially if it's actually a lesson, a video lesson, your teaching video that you want to share through WhatsApp or through Telegram. So you want to compress it to the smallest possible size. So choose mobile. Then click customize setting. So this is actually a very important part here resolution, the format, and the quality. As you can see, the quality is already set at low, but you have the option high, medium, low, but let's go for low. Because remember, the students would watch the video on their small screen on the phone. So I guess um, it's, it's okay to go for low quality, but still, uh, you know, um, Sorry, reasonable, I don't understand. still reasonable quality uh, on the phone. Then the format here, there's only one option, MP4. So just fix with MP4. Then the resolution here, you can choose between 240 to 4K. But of course, the, the purpose of this uh, compression is to reduce it to the smallest possible size. I would say 480p would be uh, okay, would be reasonable. But if the students still have problems to watch the video, you can go to for 360. 240p to me is very low, but I would say first try 480p, ask your students whether they can watch the video, or otherwise you can try 360p if they, if they have problems to watch the video. So choose 480p, then you are now ready to compress the video. I will click start. So now it's compressing uh, the video. This might take uh, a few minutes depending on the uh, size of your uh, original video. Okay, so let's wait until the compression is done. Okay, it's so almost there. Almost done. Okay, now you can see here, the compression has been completed. So you can see here, the original size of the video is 60.95, about 70 megabyte. And after compression is about 13 megabyte. So there's almost like 80% uh, uh, compression. And that is actually a lot of um, 
saving in terms of uh, bandwidth to stream or to watch uh, the video on the WhatsApp or on the Telegram. Then the next thing you can do is to download the video to your computer. Then you can do whatever you like with the video. For example, you can uh, post the video to the WhatsApp as part of the lesson that you want to deliver on the WhatsApp or on Telegram. So that's all for, that's all for now. I hope this video is useful and you can use this in your uh, as part of your workflow. Thank you.